Have you ever watched Iron Man and thought, man, I wish I had Jarvis? Well, guess what? You basically do have Jarvis now. It's called ChatGPT or Claude or any of these amazing AI tools. But here's the thing. And this is what I call the Tony Stark problem. Imagine having Jarvis, but only knowing how to say, hey, computer, do stuff. That's most of us right now. We have this incredible AI technology, literally the most powerful tool since the internet. But we're using maybe 10% of its potential because we don't know how to talk to it properly. Well, that changes today. I'm about to take you from AI rookie to prompt engineering hero in just four videos. This isn't some boring technical course. We're going to have fun with this. By the end of these 40 minutes, you'll be writing prompts that make your friends go, wait, how did you get it to do that? Today, in this first video, you'll learn why your prompts probably suck. And that's okay. The simple fix that will 10 times your results immediately. A universal template that works for literally any prompt. And the best part, everything I'm teaching you is based on real research from OpenAI, Anthropic and Google. This isn't just my opinion. This is what actually works. Okay, let me blow your mind with some data. According to a 2024 study by Microsoft Research, the quality of your prompt can change your output quality by up to 80%. 80%. Think about it like this. AI is like the world's best GPS system. But imagine typing into your GPS. Take me somewhere nice. Versus navigate to Starbucks at 425 Market Street, San Francisco, fastest route, avoid tolls. Which one gets you where you actually want to go? Here's what most people do with AI. Write me an email. Help with my presentation. Make this better. And then they wonder why AI gives them generic garbage. It's not AI's fault. It's like blaming your GPS for not reading your mind. The researchers at Anthropic found that specific prompts outperform vague ones by 3 to 1. That means a good prompt literally makes AI three times more useful. Here's the golden rule. And if you remember nothing else from this video, remember this. Gold in, gold out. Garbage in, garbage out. The AI can only be as good as your instructions. So let's fix those instructions. All right, here's your first superpower. It's called zero shot prompting. Fancy name, super simple concept. You know how when you go to McDonald's, you don't need to show them pictures of Big Macs or explain what French fries are. You just say exactly what you want. I'll have a Big Mac, large fries and a medium Coke. No ice. That's zero short prompting. You give clear, specific instructions without needing to provide examples. But here's where people mess up. They go to AI McDonald's and say, food, please. Something tasty. You know what I like. No wonder they get disappointed. Let me show you the transformation. Bad prompt, write about dogs. Good zero short prompt. Write a 150 word guide for first time dog owners about the top three things to do in their puppy's first week home. Use a friendly, encouraging tone and include specific actionable tips. See the difference? Let's break down what made it better. Specific length, 150 words. Clear audience, first time dog owners. Exact topic, first week home. Defined tone, friendly, encouraging. Output requirement, actionable tips. Here's another example from my actual life. Last week, I needed to email my landlord about a repair. A bad prompt will be, help me write an email to my landlord. Now let's see a good prompt. Write a professional but friendly email to my landlord requesting repair of a leaking kitchen faucet. Mention it started Tuesday, it's getting worse and ask for repair within five business days. Keep it under 100 words. The result, perfect email sent in 30 seconds. Repair scheduled next day. Boom. Now here's where it gets really good. After analyzing millions of prompts, the AI companies, OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, they all discovered the same thing. The best prompts follow a pattern. I call it the universal prompt template, and it's about to become your new best friend. Here are the six ingredients. Think of them like the infinity stones of prompt engineering. Role. Who is the AI supposed to be? Context. What's the situation? Task. What exactly do you want done? Format. How should it structure the response? Examples. What does good look like? Optional for zero shot. Constraints. 
any limits or requirements. You don't always need all six, but knowing this structure is like having the cheat codes to AI. Let me show you this in action. Role. You are a social media expert. Context. I run a small bakery in Portland. Task. Create an Instagram post announcing our new weekend hours. Format. Include caption with emojis and five relevant hashtags. Constraints. Keep caption under 50 words, friendly tone. And just like that, you've gone from help with social media to getting exactly what you need. All right, time to flex those new prompt muscles. I'm going to give you three terrible prompts and I want you to pause the video and fix them using what you just learned. Practice prompt one, write something about exercise. Practice prompt two, help me with my resume. Practice prompt three, explain AI. How do you do? If you transformed even one of those prompts, congratulations. You are already better at this than 90% of AI users. By the way, my transformations are in comment section. Don't forget to comment yours. Before you go, here are three quick wins you can literally use in the next 10 minutes. Quick win 1. The email upgrade. Next email you need to write, use this. Write a tone email to recipient about topic. Key points to include, list them. Keep it under X number of words. Quick win 2. The learning accelerator. Explain complex topic like I'm a beginner. Use an analogy comparing it to familiar thing. Include one specific example. Quick win 3. The content creator. Create a platform post about topic for audience. Include specific element and end with a question to boost engagement. Remember, called in, called out. In the next video, we're going to level up even more. I'll show you how to teach AI to write exactly in your style using something called few short prompting. It's like training your own personal AI assistant. If this helped you, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And drop a comment with your best prompt transformation. I love seeing what you create.